1759 Maiden. That's a long one, two mile, five furlong. A good, uh, good race for a cup of tea. And it's big slick up the top for Mike Westwood. Then we've got um, Colsey and Bazaar, Frosty Saga, Give Your Verdict, Melancholy Cove, Alan Cat Crack, uh, Devon Twinkle, Monthly Cred, Quickfire Maria, 70 Star, Starlight Matilda, Top of the Wood, and Underground for C. Beckworth down the bottom. And they're racing. And it's Give Your Verdict jumped out quickly to take the lead from Colsey and Bazaar. Out wide on the track, but at the tail, Starlight Matilda. And as I said, you could sit down here, quickly run off and uh, boil up the kettle. Because we'll, this race will take some time. Some interesting runners in this with trainers as well. And let's give you a verdict. And that's really opened up a break here on these horses. Interesting to see how the races run in with SO7 compared to SO6. Because there was a... Um, not, I don't want to say bug, but... Definitely horses that was just able to amble out and lead comfortably all by themselves and open up a lead. And SO6, in general, were quite hard to run down. They had a good strike rate of leading all the way when they did it under those circumstances. I'm not sure about give you a verdict here, but we'll soon find out that the uh, when they reach the furlong pole, whether they're still plenty of petrol in the tank it's got a nice lead from Colsey and Bazaar big slick and the old black there's just third about three or four wide quick fire Maria is there with frosty saga in behind him Alan cat crack and then we've got monthly cred, 70 star, starlight Matilda, still wide on the track, 70 star, Devon Twinkle, underground, melancholy cove and top of the wood. And then we've got quite a few grey horses in this race, five of them. And give your verdict still leads, but it's really surrendered that big uh, break it had on the, the rest of the field and moving up on its outside now is Colsey and Bazaar. <clears throat> and Colsey and Bazaar takes the lead now from give your verdict. And we've got Alan Cat Crack. As this field bunches right up as they race towards the mile pole. Um, also there's uh, Starlight Mat Tilda, who was able to go forward but still stuck wide on the track uh, just going through the field now I'll give you a verdict that this race may be too long for it and it's just holding up Kevin Minahan's frosty saga there who now is able to switch around so Colsey and Bazaar leads from Alan Cat Crack out wide going forward not with not uh, any other choice really is Starlight Matilda between them in the blue jackets underground and melancholy cove down on the fence is big slick with a quick fire maria on its outside and monthly cred back behind them 70 star doesn't see much daylight and then we've got uh, top of the woods frosty saga and give you a verdict but it's a uh, cozy and bizarre in front by a length from Alan Cat Crack, Underground, Melancholy Cove, uh, Starlight Matilda still there, uh, just looking for a bit of room, down on the fence, Big Slick is uh, moving forward, and so too there is uh, Quick Fire Maria as they spread this field open now, so they run towards the two furlong pole and Colsey and Bazaar has gone for home, from underground, Melancholy Cove, they're both running on fairly with Quickfire Marie, Alan, Cat, Crack and 
They're sticking on as well with Big Slick and Starlight Matilda, but at the furlong, this horse could be home. Uh, Colsey and Bazaar is in front. They're not really chasing it down at the half. Picking up the bit now a little bit as Melancholy Cove, but it's going to be far too late. And Colsey and Bazaar wins from underground Melancholy Cove. Quickfire Maria, I think, was uh, third or fourth. And the uh, early leader is that's trailed right down the track there. So Colsey and Bazaar has got up, and it's a favourite as well. So the computer's picking him, and John gets a winner there with Colsey and Bazaar. It's definitely uh, a class above the rest. Underground was second for C. Beckwith, Melancholy Cove third for Leon Van Rensburg, Quickfire Maria, James Shea fourth, and Alan Cat Crack ran well for Hems.